So like I promised, I'm going to put this video together real quick. Um, this is your M68 here. Um, you have your windage adjustment right here on the side. Elevation is on the top as always. You'll see them talking about parallax right here. It's only parallax free when you're beyond 50 meters. So within 50, parallax matters. And this is kind of a visualization of what I'm talking about. And I'm going to draw something on here for you. So this is your front sight post right here. You got your protective wings coming out the side. You're all same thing over here. So basically what I tell you to do is just keep the red dot right there centered on top of that front sight post just so you have a consistent aiming reference point to always go back to when you've uh, just come out of that recoil and you're about to make your second and third shot. Now once you're qualifying and you're off the zero line you can put this red dot anywhere in here you want doesn't matter as long as you're beyond 50 uh, meters and you're good to go um, I'm not gonna get into all the other uh, like the math of this I'm just gonna try to keep this as short as possible but I will say with a uh, optic that's adjusted at a quarter him away and not uh, half him away which this is close to the parallax is going to be uh, set 100 yards and not uh, 50 but anyway uh, get out of that so this is straight out of the CCO's uh, owner's manual that tells you that each time you click the adjustment screw here it will correspond to a 4 millimeter change in point of impact at 25 meters <laughs> This is our standard iron sight zero target. You see I've got three shots right here on the paper and you can count these blocks out as one, two, three, four from center and one, two, three, four from center. So I need to go four by four this way. And so each block being approximately 10 millimeters and each uh, Click adjustment being uh, four millimeters. Actually, it's really 3.9 millimeters, but four millimeters is close enough. You can just divide each block being 10 millimeters by four, which is two and a half. Two and a half times four equals 10. So you're going to go 10 clicks up, and you're going to do another 10 clicks to the left since that's equal distance there. And now you're zeroed. This is the actual uh, pop-up qual area. So at 50 meters, and this this is the same thing you do with your iron sights to uh, uh, compensate for the bullet's trajectory. But at 50 meters, you're gonna aim a little low. Honestly, I like to aim a little lower than that. Uh, so you got red here. I tend to aim more like about right here. If you aim a little too low and you do hit the berm that it's sitting on, it tends to be a rock or something you'll hit. They'll kick up, hit the target, counts anyway. Uh, this is actually where I aim for uh, 100 meters, so that's good. Good, 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 and good. And 25 and 300 is uh, where your trajectory line crosses, like I said. So this would be 25 meters, and this would be 300. That's where they cross at. So you aim center mass at 300. But uh, hopefully that sums everything up for you. If you have further questions, let me know.